Welcome to Math 11 in the air. I'm Shindelka and Hot Dog. We got an out of sight class today, but we don't have a team name yet. Anyway, go Bears, I guess. We need our own math. We're going to quickly take up answers, and I'm going to say them aloud. And if you didn't do them, I'm going to rip through the answers, and you jot down the answer. If you didn't do them, you still jot down the answer and see if you can work it out correct. If you got it wrong, I'll pause the video and we can go over anything that we need. The whole thing is, is I want you guys to learn and I want you done. And you get some credit for doing all these things, too. I'll be checking books as we finish section. Okay. Okay. Number one, and stop me to something. Actually, let me know right away if there's something wrong, and I'll just do it on video, because if you did, somebody else might. $912.50, right? I see someone nodding. Let's see. If Greg gives me feedback, I'm going to rely heavily. The second question, $251.25? Decimal 25? Yeah? She has an AB part. Three, A, B. How much does he make per week? Uh, 1940 bucks. Yeah? Sweet cash. Because 48 weeks in a year. 93,120. That's a good living. Electrician. Oh, yeah. Four. 14 bucks an hour. Does that make sense? And that is the minimum wage in a couple of weeks. So how? Five. 12 15 an hour. Y'all did it. Y'all telling. Benji here drives a truck. 42 bucks an hour for long haul. 840. Is that right? Paid for the round trip, not just one way. If you had half of that, you probably didn't double it for there and back. Any grief there? Don't lie to me. 338 for seven. I was saying. Eight, seven dollars eighty one cents per hour. What the heck? Oh, okay, I see. That isn't really what she was paid. That's how low she could go to just barely afford things. She should be getting about twice that. Okay. That's where we ended off, right? Or did... Oh, no, no. Are we good? I think that's where we ended it off, right? I got no memory. That's why I write things down. Here's what we're going to do now. Time cards. I'll wait for a second here. Get you all caught up. Okay, this stuff is actually important because I'm hoping all of you will be employed someday. I forget. Are you guys, nobody currently has a job or great as you? You did have a job. You do? I'll, I'll uh, stop the video and just ask where, but not on here. Okay. So we just got grades, and you have very predictable hours, so you probably wouldn't pay attention to time as much. You just know that it's going to be the same amount. Different job. I'll cash here at Walmart, ten fifty an hour. That's old stuff, but it doesn't matter. The dollars per hour changes every year. Um, like you can't be paid twelve fifty an hour in Saskatchewan. We're the second lowest minimum wage, I think, in the country. I forget if it's New Brunswick or somewhere like that. It's pretty low. Like seven cents or something. I don't know. But it changes every year. Anyways, a punch card or a time card or whatever here. Somehow they keep track of your time. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to, you know, it's all filled in, but I'm going to work through it anyway. You've got to understand. And sometimes I really do use my fingers for this stuff. 
1245, and we're going to use quarter hours. We don't go by the minutes, we go by the hours. Every 15 minutes is a decimal two five on an hour, right? So, 830 to 1245. I think about this. I say, what? Well, I'm going to use my fingers. You can see on the video, I'm going to use my fingers. 830 to 930 is one hour. 1030 is two hours. 1130, 1230. I got four. And I'm 1230 is four hours, and then I see, you know what, there's 15 extra minutes on it. So I'm thinking right now, four and a bit, four and a quarter, right? Does that make sense what I just said there? Quarter hours? You know, old people like me. You ever hear people say things like, oh, what time it is? And I say, right now, I say, oh, it's quarter after 10, right? Quarter past. So again, 15 minutes. And then 3.30 to 6, same day, we got a split shift, and split shifts suck. But anyway, 3.30, 4.30 is one hour there, 5.30 and a half. I'm going to put point 0.5. What did I say 4.24 for? Because I talk. So if I add up, Four and a quarter and two and a half. I can use a calculator if you can't do it. Six point seven five. I don't like the way they do it here. They do it just fractions. Three decimals. Unless you really like fractions. We use these wrenches a lot for our imperial system like feet and this one. You probably know your fractions that are involved with feet and inches. Well, which is a smaller wrench, three quarters or seven eighths? You don't use a lot of time. Okay, it doesn't matter, but you, you know what I'm saying, right? Well, that's, that's some, I know some people who use wrenches a lot. Like, Leo, do you use wrenches a lot? Three quarters, seven eighths, which is smaller? That's, or larger, I don't care which one. You didn't do any math. You just know that's what I just said. Anyway, I don't care. Maybe Liam likes fractions. Nobody else does. It. We'll use decimals. That's all I'm like. Okay. Then I'm going to use my fingers. Eight, two, eight. So ten is two hours. I can remember that. I'm not even going to write this down. And then three o'clock, so four o'clock, five o'clock, and then a half hour after that. So four and a half hours. Your thing. Nine o'clock is when you start on Wednesdays. That's ten o'clock tomorrow. Eleven. Twelve. One o'clock. That's four hours in the morning. And a half hour off for lunch. So two thirty is the fifth hour. Three is the sixth hour. You guys follow me on that? Fill it in with me. Here's your thing. Tuesday's Thursday's easy because it's just one shift. We go three. So three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven hour shift and it was all one block. You guys kind of split shifts suck. If you ruin your day, you gotta come back in and stuff. I used to work at a restaurant. And I'd work morning until like 1.30 after the lunch rush. And then I'd be off. And then I'd have to come back at 4.30 or something like that. And work the supper. But between 1 o'clock and 4.30, it's like just wasting my time because I used to walk to work from downtown to this place. Right. Okay. I don't know how this works. And I'm going to work for you don't have to pay. I think that you get, if you're called into work, you have to be paid a minimum of three and a half, three hours. Yeah. But I mean, like, you might have a different arrangement, but I think if you're, if you do a split shift, I think but I don't know this for a fact. Your second shift, because I know some of these are shorter and stuff like that. I don't think it's balanced. I don't know this for a fact. But the math, that's what we're doing. Okay, 9.30 is when we start on Friday. So 10.30, 11.30, and a half hour. Okay, two and a half. I'm going to use my hand. Well, no, I'm not going to use my hand. 
And one o'clock to four o'clock is three hours. Five and a half hours. Yeah, I don't even know where it's going. I have to add these up. And you would use the calculator. Now this is why you didn't want to use fractions. You will get 29 point total hours of When I add those up, I get 29.7. Okay. You get that? And now it's just multiplied by your hours of work. Now, I don't need to show that. You guys are really doing well, I think. It's actually more likely, if you don't use your fingers, you're probably going to screw up on time. Just use your fingers. That's what I do. Don't pay on time. This is more of the same. I recommend you do it the same way, using quarters, but use like money quarters, 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, quarters, right? Or cents. Don't use fractions. Unless you really love them. Total them up and then do the multiplying. This is a great way. Same thing here. Then we'll stop and we will talk about overtime three later. Good? Okay, you guys got two questions to do. Shouldn't be bad. <laughs>